But let's go ahead and get into our semi-finals. It is a PvP spawning in the upper right-hand corner of Solaris. We have Dragon Kitesy Gaming's hero. Hot off of the win against Gumiho. His opponent in the lower left-hand corner. Hot off of a win against Beyond. It is Match Reno Esports' Astrea. Both of these players taking out the big name Terrans on the bottom side of this bracket. In fact, this has been a very Terran looking bracket. You know, we don't always get a strong Terran representation in the KSL. This week, we have Cure, Oliveira, Beyond, and Gumiho hopping in to show them who's boss. But the Protoss is, I don't know, man, looking pretty good. Hero and Estrella taking the wins on the bottom side of this bracket. It'd be $400 if all the codes are used every time. That's pretty crazy. So yeah, use those Matcharino codes. We have the command in the live chat and I'll have the link in the description of the YouTube video. You guys would be so kind as to check that out and just click that claim code button. Just like to get as many of those as possible. We've missed out on probably a couple hundred dollars then over the course of KSL in potential prize money just by codes that didn't get clicked. I used to wait to close out tournaments and like really push to get every code um, in previous tournaments I ran, but for these ones, I, I want to get the payout as soon as possible so I don't push too hard to get all those codes used up, but any money we can get into this, uh, you know, into the, uh, the prize pool here, into the players' pockets is gonna be good. Appreciate Matcharino for continuing to offer the service of prize pools. A good, it's a good place to host prize pools. Of course, they do take little cuts of money, but pretty much everybody does. There's PayPal takes cuts, and there's really no way to avoid it, unfortunately. It's just part of the reality. But Matcharino helps to support StarCraft, so I ha I'm happy to support them. Of course, Astrea is on their StarCraft team. So I, I like to think that whatever money is getting uh, taken off from Matcharino's operating costs from the KSL, at least a chunk of that is still going into StarCraft, right? It's still going into other community events or into the pockets of the players on the team. Still worthwhile. Anyways, let's talk about this game a little bit here. Hero, dropping a cheeky proxy pylon. What is this pylon for, Hero? Hero's got a base on the way. He's not one basing or anything like that, but gonna drop this wide council. Is this just gonna be a proxy gate for some blink aggression out of him? Or is he just gonna try to warp in some adepts at this proxy pylon, perhaps? Chicken man, chicken man, chicken man, 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 man. Oh my god, now that's a different kind of support. The subscription support. Thank you so much, Yafuso. For the tier one sub. The flat out tier one. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the flock. He was going to try to uh, bust his way in. Astrea blocking the wall off here. It's funny, it's the wall with the Twilight Council and the pylon. You're hoping to watch Dark versus Cure or Time. Unfortunately, we have missed the start of that. I don't know the score of Cure versus Oliveira, but Oliveira did win that match and is currently playing against Dark. We don't have any English coverage of that right now, so I'm actually going to uh, bug those players for the replays afterwards and try to get into try to cast Dark versus Oliveira after the tournament is done. This is what I did last week and it actually worked out pretty well. It was still a lot of fun to cast those games even though we kind of knew the results. Um, but yeah. Still a lot of fun so hopefully we get to cover those at least in the replays. Because I'm sure that match is going to be awesome. If you do speak Korean, Into the Inu is casting that right now. Uh, live in Korean, so there's your option, or you can just keep an eye on it. This is so funny. 
So the proxy Dark Shrine went down here for Hero. But Astray, did Astray have scouted? Is that why he canceled it? Yeah. Astray has scouted it. So Hero canceled it. And then Astray is like, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> and he put down his own Dark Shrine. It's a beautiful thing. Hero wants to push, but it looks like he's going to take a third base. So I think he's showing push. Yeah, look at that. He, he does the hallucinated stalkers to make it look like he's getting really aggressive and keep Astraea back. But then I think he's going to expand. I don't know. He just warped in three more stalkers, though. Hero is still threatening. He's threatening so hard. Oh, and he's going to do the annoying thing with the Adepts. Estrella, though, holding on really nicely. Ooh, but not watching the front for a second. Oh, needs to dodge these stalker shots. Super shield battery turns on. And Hero is going to back up. That was a great trade for Hero. And the Adepts are going to be able to get a couple of probes. It looks like just four, or just three, excuse me. Estrella says, that's a really nice proxy spot. And that was a really nice idea to go for the Dark Shrine. I am going to also put my pile on there and also build a Dark Shrine. Uh, but he's not going to cancel it. So Stray's going to be able to get in with these DTs and hold the phone here. Hold the phone. Hero doesn't have any detection. Oh, Straya, go in. Oh, he sees the robo building. He knows. There's absolutely no detection right now. Oh, Estrella. There is a forge, so theoretically cannons could be up or could go up, but they are decidedly not up, and probes are going to start getting hit here. Oh, the stalker's trying to body block down here. Trying to. Look at, look at Hero. Oh, but then the probes getting out from the high ground. Only three probes going down. This is a lot of lost mining time, though. And hold on. The DTs are working on the Robo, and Robo can't be healed right now. And Estrella's pushing the front at the same time. Super Shield Battery turns on, but no! It goes down! And that's GG. Hero can't get any detection up. And Estrella wins it with the Invisible Boys. What a move! Hero, I can't believe that's, that's really something special. <laughs> the fact that Hero put down a Dark Shrine. It got scouted, so he canceled it. His proxy gateway got scouted, so he decided to macro. And then Astraea was like, Dark Shrine, huh? Solid, solid plan, honestly. What's that proxy location? You know what? I like it. <laughs> they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And I mean, Hero should be very flattered. <laughs> I actually can't believe it. Hero doing such a great job trying to buy time for that robo too. But Estrella was one step ahead. His next set of DTs he warped in went straight for that Robo. And while Hero was busy microing his probes, the Robo was getting hit. It was getting hit. It was so close. So close, man. I can't believe that Robo didn't get up. I thought for sure that game was going to continue for a while. But no, it does not. It just straight up ends. And now down 0-1 in the semifinals, we have Dragon Kites Gaming's Hero. Who, honestly, he's made it to, I think, more finals than anybody else. He's certainly won more KSLs than anybody else. But he's in danger of not even making the finals right now. His opponent in the upper right-hand corner looking for what I believe would be his first KSL finals. It is Macharino Esports' is Estrella. Up 1-0. Estrella hasn't dropped a map today. 2-0 nice. 2-0 beyond. He's up 1-0 against Hero. Honestly, if he can get to the finals at all that would be insanely sick but if he gets there undefeated i mean what what a day for Estrella, man always bet on max angel that's right absolutely right Interesting that Estrella uh, does these gateways back here. He did that in the last game too, right? That's why he had the Twilight Council up front. Just, uh, it's an interesting choice. Not something we see a lot of players doing. Oh my God, Hero is gateway expanding. And he's sending out the probe to proxy? What is this? Hero, a ballsy move with that gateway expand. Just assuming Estrella is going to want to macro. Now Estrella 
is known for these kinds of moves in PvP, so I don't really blame Hero. Because Stray is the kind of person who I have seen, not in a while, I think not since uh, like a couple patches ago, but for a bit, he was Nexus firsting against Protoss sometimes. Which is, I mean, that's bold. That's bold. But he's gonna go for a proxy. Straya, he's not showing any signs of expanding just yet. Hero is gonna drop down that proxy Stargate. This is so, this is such a power move by Hero. It's so bold. If it pays off, it could be huge. Because obviously having this base up so early, getting it very established, getting a big worker lead, while at the same time harassing with oracles on the other side of the map is going to be so strong. But I feel like somebody one-basing you is going to be in a grape. What the f <laughs> What is the straight doing? <laughs> he hasn't scouted at all. He has no idea what his opponent's doing. He's going to get over here and see a done Nexus. Astrea is insane. What? Okay, so this is a Rich Vespian Geyser. The only reason I can see him taking this base is because it's Rich Vespian Geyser. I see no other possible reason to want to do this. But it's also, it's less mineral patches, right? No, I guess it's it's still eight patches. I don't know. I'm, my, my gasts are flabbered. My flabbers are gasted. I, I'm really confused. Very excited to see where this goes, but it might not go anywhere because Estrella just pulled the stalkers out of his main and he doesn't have a shield battery. So unfortunately, <laughs> the game just sort of ends. Um, what a game. What, what, I just, sometimes PvP, man, turns into the absolute weirdest shit. And I love it so much. It's really, it's really beautiful. The amount of attempted metagaming that happened in that game. But I don't think either player in a hundred years would have guessed that their opponent was doing the build they were doing. They just, they just never would have been expected on either side. We had no idea where that was going. That and it turns into a different game too if Astray just leaves those two stalkers in the main. If he just has two stalkers in the main, game continues. And he had them there till that very last second. You see, when you see a fast Nexus, you don't really expect the proxy Stargate. And I have a strong feeling Hero wasn't expecting the uh, rich Vespine Geyser base. Yeah, PvP is certainly one of the matchups. It really is. All right, well, at least we get a game three. There goes Estrella's winning streak. Five and five and one now. As we get into Hecate. Hecate. Join our players here for the final game of this series. Match point. Spawning in the upper right-hand corner, we have Dragon Kites Gaming's Hero. And his opponent in the lower left for Match Arena Esports, it is Astraea. Oh, what a fun day of StarCraft. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Astrea. Astrea, what am I looking at here, bud? <laughs> What's this pylon missing? What's Astrea's base missing right now, guys? Oh, gateways? <laughs> Hero scouting the other side of the map, and man, he's gonna have a moment where he sees absolutely nothing in this base. Our pylon is under attack. He sees the pylon. Hero, you gotta go down here. Hero? Hero? Okay, he didn't confirm that there was nothing down here, but 
there is nothing down there. So if he's assuming this is a proxy, he is assuming correctly. Astray is going to try to wall the probe. Uh, actually, no, wait. What is this pylon doing? Oh, I know what this pylon's doing. Is this going to be a shield battery pylon eventually? Or is this maybe just high ground vision? I don't know, dude. This is just something else. Hero's waiting for a cannon rush, it looks like. Or maybe he's just keeping an he eye on for the zealots. He doesn't know where the gateways are or how many there are. Straight building another pylon up here. Oh, is he trying to stop batteries from going down? I don't know. First battery is going down. Estrella is running up the ramp. You know, we're working on this pylon. He's got the cybercore back at home. This is the benefit of the two gate, is that you have the ability to do a cybercore behind it. Pylon goes down. There's a backup for Hero, though. He's going to be able to get that stalker out. Third zealot is out here for Estrella. It's getting kind of wild. The Zealots are getting in, but the shield battery is done, so the Zealots just going to go for the probe line. Probes get pulled to fight them so that they can get these kills quicker. I think only one probe went down there. Uh, high ground pylon looks like it's going to go down. Straight trying to get some stalkers out right now, but I don't know. This is a tight spot, and Hero has recognized that these gateways are right here. Oh, and he's going to jump on this stalker, and he is going to get that kill. This has not gone well for Estrella. It looked all right from the start, but now all of his production is right here. Except for, of course, his proxy Stargate, which is down here. Uh, but that means he has no production back at home, except the Robo he just put down. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> and Hero, he's just three-gate Roboing now. He's like, I don't, I don't trust you. I'm not expanding. I'm not taking any chances. He's just going to push to the other side of the map. You know what? There's not here for Estrella, uh, like anything. He is going to be able to finish this Robo. But can the Stalkers get some kills in the meantime? This is the only shield battery. And the shield battery is going to go down. The probes, they get a surround. Whoa! Oh, he tries to body block the Stalker. He doesn't quite get it. And the one Stalker lives with two hit points. Look at it go. The Oracle on the way for Estrella. And Estrella going for a Robo Bay on one base. Or Hero, rather, going for a Robo Bay on one base. The Immortal's about to pop. Two Adepts warping in as well. Oh, but six, seven probes going down. These Stalkers one-shotting the probes. The probes and the Immortal going to be able to clean this up. 13 probes getting killed though straight down to 11 workers he needs to get a lot of damage done on the other side of the map can he do it oracle's about to pop i don't think hero is going to be expecting the proxy oracle where's the oracle going oracle needs to kill so many probes there is a shield battery out here but the oracle could get the kills hero's in here with the adepts he's gonna try to get these kills oh he's got some sentries here as well and the prism is here Oracle on the other side of the map, not going to be able to get the job done. And it looks like Hero gets the 2-1 victory. Estrella starting out so strong and so close to a KSL Finals. He could taste it. We could all taste it. I was ready to taste it. But Hero says, no, this is my tournament. I will be the one fighting Dark or Oliveira in the grand finals <laughs> that is what i do and he gets the win gg what a pvp